case briefs and so much more ls data's got what you're looking for in 1989 a significant case asbury v brougham made waves in the united states court of appeals for the tenth circuit the case began when a woman known as Asbury leveled accusations of racial and sexual discrimination against defendants Leo Brougham and Wanda Chauvin, proprietors of Brougham Estates. In her case, Asbury claimed that despite meeting all necessary criteria, she was denied the opportunity to rent or even view available properties. This instance led her to file a lawsuit under the Fair Housing Act and Section 1982, which allowed her to establish a prima facie case of racial discrimination. The process for proving such a case was guided by the McDonnell Douglas Core v. Green three-part burden of proof analysis, an important tool used in cases of perceived racial discrimination to determine the liable party. Previously, a jury ruled in Asbury's favor, awarding her $7,500 in compensatory damages and $50,000 in punitive damages. The defendants, however, did not agree with this result and appealed, arguing that did not have any intent to discriminate. Still. It was determined by the court that they had indeed violated the landlord's responsibilities under the Fair Housing Act and Section 1982. Despite the defendant's appeal, the district court upheld its initial decision, granting Asbury damages as well as attorney's fees as per 42 U.S.C. Section 1988. However, the court refused to award any additional damages or double costs as the defendant's appeal against the compensatory damages reward was seen to not be entirely without merit. The court then remanded the case, noting a significant question regarding the sufficiency of evidence surrounding the award of punitive damages. This landmark case continues to serve as a strong reminder of the ongoing fight against housing discrimination. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law, elevate your mind, leave the stress of class.